morning, ladies. I hate to interrupt all the lovely chatter this morning, but uh, looks like most of us have arrived, such a nice group, and we had cold outside, but otherwise great roads to travel on, and that's what we're thankful for. This morning I'm starting with, we love because he first loved us, 1 John 4.19. Lay aside for a moment all the theological reasons that explain why Christ came to earth and think only about God's great love for you. He loved you so much that he lay aside his glory and honor to become Emmanuel, the one who walks with you. Consider that everything from the beginning, from the Garden of Eden to his work in your life was motivated and designed by love. Love motivated him to appear to a lowly temple widow who prayed decade after decade for his coming. Out of love, God rearranged his schedule so he could meet with the many individuals he ministered to and healed. And it was out of love that he dined with the desperate sinners and estranged tax collectors, those whom society cast aside, he gathered in his arms. His life was love in action. Jesus showed us the true heart of God, living among us and inviting us to true deep friendship with him. He came not to rule and destroy, but to save and offer new life to all who would come to him. Let's pray. Dear Father, we thank you for this beautiful day and the weather you gave us for travel. We just thank you that you are love and that your son enveloped love and showed us how to do the perfect love. Dear Father, be with us this season that we see those invisible people around us and that we might show love to them. We pray that you'll be at the program to be today with Terry as she plays. We thank you for music, beautiful music that you've given in our hearts. We just thank you again for all you do. Amen. Jane, will you come up and introduce Terry? Good morning. I'm Jane Bear. I live here in New Providence, and I have the pleasure of introducing our musical guest this morning. Terry Wagner is my cousin, and she grew up in Garwin, Iowa. She grew up in a family that was musically gifted. Her mom, her dad, her two brothers all play different instruments and sing, and so needless to say, when our family is together, we get treated to some wonderful music. Terry uh, graduated from Venard Bible College in Oskaloosa. She served in the mission field in Africa and different places for 11 or 12 years. Uh, and currently she is living in Garwin with her little dog, Tushi. <laughs> and uh, she works for Wells Fargo. But um, not only is she a gifted museum, uh, musician, but she is a wonderful, strong, woman of God, and I just have appreciated her love, her encouragement, and her faith through the years. She's been a wonderful blessing to our family, and I know she'll be a blessing to all of you this morning. Terry. It's tea. Christmas time's a-coming, and oh, I'm going home. Can't you hear? 
going back to my country home Candles in the window, pies are in the oven Santa's on the rooftop and Christmas time's coming Can't you hear them bells ringing, ringing joy for all Hear them singing, when it's snowing I'll be going back to my country home
Janie talked a little bit about me, so now I get to talk a little bit about her. But she is my first cousin. Her mom and my mom were sisters. There were four sisters. And um, Fern was the oldest. And Fern's, I see her granddaughter back there. Hi, Chris Jones. Fern, Aunt Fern's granddaughter is here this morning. Chris and Scott <coughs> live near Conrad, and they're a wonderful Christian family. They have a son that's a wonderful preacher. He and his wife live in Hudson, and they're wonderful uh, people of God. So thank you for coming. And there are a number of uh, patriarchs, dignitaries here this morning. My pastor and his wife from Garwin, who pastor the United Methodist Church where I attend, they're here this morning. Bless their hearts in a pastor's busy Christmas season. He, Dottie pulled him out of the house and shoved him in the car. And, no. And uh, uh, my patriarchal, he's not going to like, he's already going, no, don't do it. My 90-year-old father's here this morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He drove because he didn't want me to, and that's all right. I don't care. But so thank you, Dad. And uh, my mom went to heaven. It'll be nine years ago this past September. And when I was, this theme, country Christmas, is perfect for being humbly, I'm humbly blessed I was invited to do this morning. Beautiful, perfect theme. Because when I was three, mom and dad moved myself and my two older brothers out to a farm in Garwin. So every year for me was a country Christmas. Every morning I got up with the new fallen snow and the wafting of the turkey going up the stairs and all of those wonderful mental pictures you get for a country Christmas. So thank you. It was wonderful to be here this morning and, and sharing that theme. Each year um, we would rotate and Janie's mom, Betty, and Aunt Joyce and Mom and all the sisters, we'd rotate, and so we always got together on holidays, and usually every Sunday, didn't we? That I remember, pretty much. And um, Janie, oh, it was Janie, um, hope you know, she's 10 years older than me, sorry, I didn't mean to, but I want to make a point. She's been more like, a, neither one of us had a sister, she's been more like a sister than a cousin, so I thank her for always protecting me as I was growing up. They, probably a ball was headed my, right my way when I was little and I didn't know it and she took it instead of me and so anyway thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to be this here this morning and hope. I do a few uh, something, I do something that you enjoy and that's one of your favorites so thank you.
<clears throat> to be honest, if you want to hear more on that, I'll do the same ones over. Because <laughs> those are really the only two Christmas ones I know on it, but that's all right. I'm getting in my head this image and picture of uh, those four, your mom, my mom, and the two other sisters up in heaven, giggling and laughing. And one was Baptist, one started, one, not that the denomination mattered, but one was, you know, went Methodist as, after she got married. And, those were, and the other two were Quakers. And they're all giggling and laughing and everything. And I get this picture. I hope they're not in the Quaker section or they are in trouble because they are just, they're noisy. But it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Probably out of all the wonderful Christmas carols, and I think the Christmas carols, although I'm going to end with a traditional Christmas song, Christmas carols really depict, uh, I love the words and the theology of the old Christmas carols. And this one is probably in my top five. I love them all, and you probably have your favorites as well. This is probably my favorite.
thank you again for the opportunity to be here this morning and share some of my uh, Christmas music. I trust something has blessed you or encouraged you this Christmas season. And uh, also thank you. I don't know how many of you have seen the Fellowship Hall. Beautiful job. And I'm going to say a name. I think Jean, I got it right. She did a lot of the decorating and very talented. And all... Everything that's set out there, I really appreciate all the hospitality and the humble privilege of being asked to share this morning. And I'm going to end with a traditional Christmas song that doesn't seem so much like we should sing it in church, but the two words really fit um, what the Christmas season is about, and it's White Christmas. And really, if you think about it, that's why God sent his son Jesus in the form of a baby to make sure we discover his sacrifice of his son on the cross and the Calvary, and uh, to make sure our hearts are white as snow and we have a white Christmas. So Merry Christmas to all of you and thank you again. Give the women a little more time in the kitchen, get everything ready for you. And we thank you. And I love the picture of the white Christmas. That will have a whole new meaning to me, thinking about the blood of Jesus coming down and turning our sins white as snow. I love that. Love that. Okay, let's. Well, I've never done an encore. This is. Oh! <laughs> so let's sing with her White Christmas.
Okay, thank you so much. Yes. Now, Jane, if you would take your family out with you and Terry and head to the fellowship hall, and I'll dismiss the rest of you. The guests can go first.